Hello, welcome. This is the Ranting Ranger here, and today's rant we're going to be looking at which is better, the Legacy Morpher or the Lightning Collection. So, without further ado, let's cue some soothing voiceover, and it's Morphin' Time! Without a doubt, the Legacy Morpher from Bandai is a visually striking piece. The die-cast metallic finish of the plates and power coins shine in a way that only true die-cast metal can. The weathered coins help every detail come to life while also giving them an ancient look and feel. Even though the actors on screen were using the toy as a prop, this morpher looks and feels how we saw it in our imaginations every time the rangers morph before battle. The shine is beautiful, the painted details are clean and crisp, with the only real drawback visually being a screw that can be seen when the morpher is open. The Lightning Collection Morpher is still a beautiful piece. It's just not as shiny or as heavy as the Legacy version. Hasbro didn't want to just copy what came before them, so with the Lightning Collection, they decided to make their Morpher look more like the toy from the 90s that served as the screen used prop. That means that while the Lightning Collection Morpher isn't as visually captivating, it is more screen accurate to what was used in the first three seasons of Mighty Morphin. When it comes to size and weight, the Legacy Morpher is much heavier thanks to the significant amount of die-cast metal, though the Lightning Collection Morpher is a little bit taller and thicker. For details, the Legacy Morpher favors the bold, with the red ring and black markings being thicker and more prominent. The Lightning Collection Morpher, on the other hand, leans more towards subtlety. This allows you to see the full Morpher, instead of just the words Power Rangers taking up most of your attention. The power coins for the Legacy version are die-cast metal, weathered, and feature a smooth edge that makes even the coins on their own something of a showpiece. The Lightning Collection version also features die-cast coins, but Hasbro went with an unweathered bright gold chrome finish that, while very bright and shiny, is almost shiny to the point of washing out the details. The Lightning Collection coins also have prominent tabs used to lock the coin in place, and while this makes the coins lock in more securely, it does take away from their individual aesthetic. Okay, for comparison, on the left here is the Legacy version, on the right is the Lightning Collection. You can see side by side this one is just a little taller, it's got a little bit more height to it. As far as width, it is the Lightning Collection which is wider, or thicker rather. Now as far as their coins, here is the Legacy version. Is the Lightning Collection. Both have good detail. The only trouble is this one is so bright and shiny, it tends to wash out all the detail. It makes it harder to see. But it is there. If you want to customize it with a quick wash, it would probably take care of a lot of that. Um, but the Legacy version is a weathered coin, but it is also smooth, whereas the Lightning Collection version does have the locking tabs. On the back, Legacy version has the logo. Lightning Collection has the Ranger helmet that is specific to each coin. So if we take a look over here at Triceratops, it does have the Blue Ranger helmet on the back. As far as gimmicks go, uh, one other thing with the coins. With Legacy, they did also make a run of the Ninjetti coins. You have the movie logo on the back. These are separate. So, as far as the morpher goes, for gimmicks, what do we do? Take our coin, we're gonna lock it in. Now, one disadvantage to the coin not being locked in place with the locking tabs on this is it is free to end up in whatever position. Um, so yeah, you can have the T-Rex kind of caliwampus here while you do your morph. If you're trying to film it, that can look weird. I think it's in the Beast Morph Morpher crossover. I think they used the Legacy version as the prop version. And I want to say the T-Rex kind of ended up like this on, when Jason did his morph, which is a little unfortunate. But if you're not, if you want to do filming, I would just say put a little tacky stuff on the back or something just to hold it in place. Then it'll be fine. As far as gimmicks, um, get your push button here. Hold down handle, 
when you hit your button, it goes ka-ching and has lights. If you hold down the button for a couple seconds, it will play the theme, um, the instrumental version. I'm not going to play here. I don't want to get any copyright stuff. Um, like I said, one of the drawbacks here is you can see this screw when it's open. But if you're just playing it closed like I personally do, it's not a problem at all. Put that off to the side. We're going to go ahead and get our lightning collection version. Now this one's got a few more features going on. So we're going to go ahead and get our Tyrannosaurus coin. We're going to lock it in. A nice ominous red glow coming through there. So you can see it's locked in there pretty good. It's not going anywhere. Uh, so that is an advantage to the locking tabs, though they do take away from the look of the individual coin. When you hit the button, they call out their dinosaur. And to my knowledge, it is the original voice cast, is the original. So that was Austin St. John. It'll just sit there and glow. Close it, powers down. If you change coins, let's go ahead and bring Triceratops back in here. Lock it back in, you can see the blue. You got David Yost, yellow and Triceratops. And let's get some girl power in here. Go ahead and bring in Pterodactyl, Kimberly. Pterodactyl locked in. As you can see, the colors do change to match the Ranger. That's a pro and a con. Technically, it's not accurate when they actually transform on screen. It's always just the red dots, but I mean, it's a nice little feature to help separate it. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the plane. If you try to do a morph without the coin in there, it shorts out. <laughs> so it does recognize a lack of coin. I'm gonna set that aside for now. There is one more feature on the legacy version I forgot to mention. There's also one more thing that's gonna do, so we'll give it a second. So for this, we actually do have an on off switch, which is nice. For the Lightning Collection version, it just kind of powers down after it's ignored. So this, turn it off. When you turn it on, you get the communicator sound effect, which is nice. This doesn't want to do its power down noise. It should go to like, make a power down, but it's all right. It's not the craziest sound either. So but that's pretty much the side-by-side -side of gimmicks and stuff. Um, like I said, this just makes a clashing noise. This is consistent with all the coins. Doesn't matter which ones, like if we take our ape, put it in, locks in the same way. Same sound effect. So. Doesn't matter which coin's in the legacy version, it's gonna be the same. There's the power down. It's gonna be the same regardless. Uh, Lightning Collection does have different sounds for whichever coin it is. Um, although right now, there are only the five main coins for the Lightning Collection version. There's not even a green or a white coin yet. So uh, you are just confined to the standard five coins, which for most collectors is perfectly fine. So that's pretty much it for the gimmicks. Both versions include the Morpher, Belt Clip, and all five of the main coins. The Lightning Collection Morpher also comes with a display stand that shows off the Morpher and has slots for the other four coins. The Legacy version has its two LR44 batteries included, while the Lightning Collection's three AAA batteries are separate. As far as pricing, it's a little hard to get a proper gauge because both the Lightning Collection and Legacy Morphers have been out of production for a fair while, at least a year. So as far as original release, the Lightning Collection was a Walmart exclusive and ran for about $50. The Legacy version was a Toys R Us exclusive first, then a GameStop exclusive, and that one went for about $60.
I checked every major retailer I could find online and none of them had it anywhere in stock. I checked Amazon as well. And while they did show in stock, the markup was absolutely horrendous. They had the legacy version for about $350 and the lightning collection for about 300. You could definitely get it cheaper than that. Um, my suggestion though would be to check eBay. Now, while it's still hard to get a proper gauge of pricing when it comes to eBay, because they can list it for whatever they want. And I saw some listings for whatever they wanted. I, from what I could tell, the average going price is probably about 150 for either one. So it's honestly just a matter of persistence. I was doing this based on buy it now interest. They had them for like 160 with $20 shipping for the legacy version. And there was actually watchers on it. So there were people actually considering making that buy. As far as lightning collection, it was a similar price. I want to say it was closer to 150 though, uh, with again, watchers on it and a buy it now. I did see over the weekend, some legacy versions went for about 125 with shipping but that's just a matter of if you're in the right place at the right time and to get into an auction. Uh, but again, best advice, just check eBay periodically. They do pop up here and there. You never know what you might find. You might just get lucky, but also keep an eye out at your local collectible stores because sometimes people will sell it there too and they might have it for you. Uh, so it's just a matter of keeping an eye out and matter of persistence. So happy hunting. Hasbro recently released a pink Ranger Morpher that features pink markings and belt clip instead of black. It also features different sounds for each of the coins. While the pink is a bit bold, it does come with all five coins and the display stand. If you're mainly concerned with display, the pink markings and belt clip can be painted black to give the Morpher the classic look. The main advantage to the pink Morpher is that it is still widely available at GameStop stores and on their website for just $50. This would save you the collector's markup compared to the standard version. So that's going to be it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you have any further questions, definitely drop it in the comments. I'll see if I can get to those for you as well. Um, other than that, give a like and a subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but just remember, if you're ranting about it, it just means you love it. Have a great day.